How you doing? Not bad, yourself? I'm pretty good. What can I do for you? I'd like to see if you're interested in purchasing my antique apothecary scale. Apothecaries were really unique. Kind of like a doctor and a pharmacy mixed into one. There's a little drawer right here with uh, weights in them. Okay. And then what do you got here? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Never opened it up? No. I think they're just little gram weights. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> here today to sell my antique apothecary scale. Well, the scale was a gift from my mother to my father, who uh, was a doctor, who's no longer with us, and now it is in my possession. This is pretty cool, man. So you'd go into an apothecary and they'd have scales like this, and uh, they would weigh out little concoctions on here, oils, powders. A lot of times they would use tobaccos and even opium. Do you have any idea what year it's from? Oh, I'm guessing uh, like late uh, 1890s. Okay. This must be the calibrator right here. Yeah, I believe so. I don't think it's broken. Because I don't see any other knobs on it. So scales like this, they need to be exact and precise. Because little particles of dust and moisture could really affect the integrity of the scale. And when you're measuring micrograms and little milligrams of powders and liquids, you need right. the scale to be exactly precise. Right. But the condition of it looks, you know, pretty good overall. You can see how sensitive the scale is because this way is nothing. And you put it on there and it, and it moves and they kind of even out at that point. So work, unfortunately, you can't calibrate it and so it's not in working condition. But how much are you looking to get? Uh, $500. You know, I have seen several scales similar to this. On the high end, I see these going for, you know, maybe 175 maybe a little more. But on the low end, I see these things going for 25 bucks. It's just not going to be for me. So, thanks for bringing it in. All right. Thank you. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make a deal here today, but it's still a beautiful piece, and I'll probably find a place to keep it in my condo.